Welcome to the lesson Comprehension. After completing this lesson, you will be able to solve questions based on the passage or poem, solve vocabulary questions on the passage or poem, solve grammar related questions. Kevin has just come home from school. Mom welcomes him with a glass of milk and some cookies. She asks Kevin about his day at school. Kevin tells her that the teacher has given them a comprehension for homework. Mom thinks comprehensions are fun since one has to solve questions based on the passage. However, Kevin does not understand how to solve questions for a comprehension. When mom hears this, she assures Kevin that she will teach him about comprehension. So, what are we waiting for? Let us learn about comprehension. Comprehension is the understanding and interpretation of written text. A comprehension usually consists of a passage and questions based on the given passage. The passage may be factual or argumentative in nature. Comprehension can also consist of a poem or a prose extract. Remember, the reader must accurately understand the written material in order to answer the questions in a comprehension. Comprehension is very important and can be used to develop one's reading and writing skills, to expand one's vocabulary, to help one grasp information. The study of the art of comprehension enables one to comprehend the main idea contained in the passage and to answer the questions that follow the concerned passage. This art can be developed easily through diligent practice. We know that a comprehension consists of a passage or a poem and a set of questions based on this passage or poem. In order to fully understand the given passage, and answer the questions accurately, we must follow certain guidelines. The guidelines are as follows. Read the passage once in order to understand the gist of the passage. Read the passage for a second time and identify the essential points. Study the set of questions thoroughly. Next, refer to each question and locate the answers in the passage. Usually, the questions appear in chronological order. This means that the answers to the first few questions will appear in the beginning of the passage, while the answers to the subsequent questions will appear in later portions of the passage. The answers should be written in the proper order for each of the questions. Answer the questions in your own words using keywords from the passage or the question if necessary. The answer should be written in the same tense in which the question has been asked, irrespective of the tense in the passage. Since a comprehension is a test of one's reading and writing skills, every person approaches a passage or a poem from a different perspective, thus the answers are subjective. If the passage has to be given a title, select a title based on the main idea, main event or main character. Avoid spelling mistakes, grammar and punctuation errors. Always cross-check the answers with the questions and the passage itself. A comprehension allows one to express what one grasps in a simple and clear manner. Let us read the comprehension passage given below. In colder countries, certain animals hibernate during winter. Hibernation may be considered as an extended period of deep sleep during which the bodily functions are suppressed. Metabolic rate slows down and body temperature drops. 
It is popularly believed that the drop in body temperature causes a lowered metabolic rate. However, it is the animal's lowered metabolic rate that results in a lower body temperature. Animals may hibernate for several weeks or months. The time period is dependent on the species as well as surrounding conditions. Bears, for example, hibernate for many months. Their heart rate, which is usually 40 to 50 beats per minute, slows down to 8 to 12 beats per minute. The body temperature of a bear, however, remains stagnant. The ground squirrel, on the other hand, maintains an abdominal temperature as low as 0 degrees Celsius. Before hibernating, animals often consume more food in a bit to build up their fat reserves. This is a requisite if they wish to subsist in extreme temperatures. Hibernating animals convert fatty acid carbons to glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis. Thus, hibernation allows animals to conserve their energy when food is scarce or unavailable. While animals can use the excess fat on their bodies as a source of energy, some animals store food to eat when they wake up after the hibernation period. Bats, ground squirrels, mouse lemurs, the European hedgehog, etc. are all examples of hibernating animals. A substance known as the hibernation induction trigger, HIT, is found in the blood of hibernating animals. It is responsible for preparing animals for their period of hibernation. The main points are Definition of hibernation Time of hibernation Process of building up fats and HIT now that we have read the passage, let us look at the questions based on the passage. Answer the following questions based on the given passage. First question, what is hibernation and what happens during hibernation? Second question, how long is the hibernation period? Third question, what is gluconeogenesis? Fourth question, list the animals that hibernate. And fifth question, what is HIT? Find words in the passage that are close in meaning to the words or phrases listed below. First word, survive. Second word, requirement. Third word, permits. The phrase, without much change. And fourth word, limited. Do as directed. First question. A substance known as the hibernation induction trigger is found in the blood of hibernating animals. Change to present perfect tense. Second question. This is a requisite if they wish to subsist in extreme temperatures. Identify the non-finite verb in this sentence. Third question. Metabolic rate slows down and body temperature drops. Pick out the conjunction in this sentence and identify the type of sentence. Fourth question. Certain animals hibernate during the winter. Change to present perfect continuous tense. And fifth question. Certain animals hibernate during the winter. Identify the preposition in this sentence and state the type of preposition as well. We have read the passage and identified the main points. Now let us see how each question is answered. The answers to the first set of questions can be found in different parts of the passage. These answers can be found by locating keywords given in the questions. It is acceptable to repeat keywords from the questions in the answers. The keywords have been highlighted in each answer. The next set of questions tests one's vocabulary. One must locate words in the passage according to the definitions or meanings given in the questions. The last set of questions tests one's grammar. Sometimes a comprehension is based on a poem. Let us read the poem given below and try to understand the theme or subject of the poem. Little Ann Joe Little Ann Joe turned five years old 
and wanted a pony to keep her company. She had crayons and dolls and beautiful beach balls and a big teddy bear with a button nose and brown hair. She had made up her mind to always be kind, a trait that she learned when she was a tiny girl. But no friends had she, a lone child they let be, who found solace and heart in her toys from the start. It was a blue candy pony that she asked for only, little Anjo's new comrade to play with in her empty yard. Thus, the poem Little Anjo is about a small girl called Anjo who has no friends. Now that we have studied the poem, it is time to take a look at the questions based on the poem. Answer the following questions based on the given poem. First question. How old is Anjo now? Second question. What is Anjo's special trait? Third question. Name four objects that belonged to Anjo. Fourth question. What is the rhyme scheme of the second stanza? And fifth question. Do you think that Anjo wanted a real pony? Support your answer with evidence from the poem. Find words in the poem that are close in meaning to the words or phrases listed below. First word, comfort. Second word, friend. The phrase, all by oneself. Third word, caring. And fourth word, characteristic. Do as directed. First question. But no friends had she. Change to assertive sentence. Second question. She had crayons and dolls. Identify the kind of conjunction used in this line. Third question. Form an adverb from the adjective beautiful. Fourth question. She had made up her mind. Change to future perfect tense. And fifth question, little Anne Joe's new comrade, identify the adjectives in this line. We have read the poem and formed an understanding of it. Let us now answer the questions based on the poem. The answers to the first set of the questions can be found in different parts of the poem. Once again, by using keywords we can locate the correct answers. The question, do you think that Anne Jo wanted a real pony? That appears in the first set of questions is an analytical question. The answer is not directly mentioned in the poem. Such questions require the reader to form logical connections and exercise their judgment. The next set of questions tests one's vocabulary. One must locate words in the poem according to the definitions or meanings given in the questions. The last set of questions tests one's grammar. Comprehension requires good reading and writing skills. If one's vocabulary is very limited, one may fail to grasp the meaning of a given passage or poem. It is possible to improve one's comprehension skills by following certain steps. They are as follows. Read widely by reading a range of books, newspapers, magazines, etc. Make logical connections between what you read and what you already know. Identify the main ideas or points of a passage. Evolve a deeper understanding of any text that is read. Remember, in the case of comprehension, answers are always subjective. Since a comprehension is a test of one's reading and writing skills, every person approaches a passage or a poem from a different perspective. Mom has explained comprehension to Kevin. 
Now Kevin can easily complete the homework his teacher has given. Let us revise the main points for Kevin. Comprehension is the understanding and interpretation of written text. A comprehension usually consists of a passage and questions based on the given passage. The passage may be factual or argumentative. Comprehension can also consist of a poem or a prose extract. Remember that the reader must accurately understand the written material in order to answer the questions in a comprehension. Comprehension is very important and can be used to develop one's reading and writing skills. To expand one's vocabulary. To help one grasp information. The study of the art of comprehension enables one to comprehend the main idea contained in the passage and to answer the questions that follow the concerned passage. This art can be developed easily through diligent practice. In order to fully understand the given passage and answer the questions accurately, we must follow certain guidelines. Read the passage once in order to understand the gist of the passage. Read the passage for a second time and identify the essential points. Study the set of questions thoroughly. Next, refer to each question and locate the answers in the passage. Usually, the questions appear in a chronological order. The answers should be written in the proper order for each of the questions. Answer the questions in your own words using key words from the passage or the question if necessary. The answer should be written in the same tense in which the question has been asked irrespective of the tense in the passage. Since a comprehension is a test of one's reading and writing skills, every person approaches a passage or a poem from a different perspective. Thus, the answers are subjective. If the passage has to be given a title, select a title based on the main idea, main event or main character. Avoid spelling mistakes and punctuation errors. Always cross-check the answers with the questions and the passage itself. A comprehension allows one to express what one grasps in a simple and clear manner. If one's vocabulary is very limited, one may fail to grasp the meaning of a given passage or poem. It is possible to improve one's comprehension skills by following certain steps. Read widely by reading a range of books, newspapers, magazines, etc. Make logical connections between what you read and what you already know. Identify the main ideas or points of a passage. Evolve a deeper understanding of any text that is read. Remember, in the case of comprehension, answers are always subjective. Since a comprehension is a test of one's reading and writing skills, every person approaches a passage or a poem from a different perspective.